but uh, we've been training hard. Lucky I've got the champ, Alvis Moyo, in my corner, training me hard. I've got legend Anton Gilmore pushing me every day and a strong stable of guys. So yeah, my, we're ready to rumble. Oh, we've been training very hard. I mean, uh, we've been in the gym every day. Um, I haven't even been in shape like this in, for any of my fights. We're in great shape. Basically, we, we, we're working on something. I'm, I'm helping him out. He's, 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 he's uh, 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 Gilmore's boy. But um, he's, he's coming to me. I'm helping out a lot. He's, uh, he's on the on the on the place where I was once. So I, I know how it is. I know the pressure and everything. But if he does what we do, when you got here, you found a spot. So I, I can I get him. I try to get him to attack as much as he can and keep his defense tight. And if he does exactly that, then definitely he's gonna win. I must say, honest, uh, if, if if we have to go out there and, and just go, you know guns blazing. Um, I think it's really going to be up to us to win when the fight finishes. Uh, the game plan is is to go out there and, and put on a show. Um, we, we're going to stop Warren. It's just a matter of a win. Um, and it's, yeah, <laughs> whether it come one or whether it come two, three or four, uh, it's, gonna material to, it's just going to happen. Luke, tough guy, nice guy. Uh, fight started off well. We started going, banging. And uh, he put me with a couple of good shots. He had me against the ropes and the ref jumped in and uh, stopped the fight. Uh, look, all due credit to Luke. He won that fight. Uh, you'll never go against a ref's uh, decision. But uh, this time I want to fight. This time I think we need to give the crowd what all our supporters came to see and, and have a war. Well, um, Warren called for a rematch. Uh, he threw everything he had at me and did nothing. And we stopped him. Now he wants a rematch. Boxing is not a game you can play, so we'll see what happens in the ring. This is my last year in boxing. So my grandfather, which was my dad, passed away a couple of years ago, and he always wanted me to fight. I come from a family of boxers. And my now wife pushed me into boxing by getting me uh, hand wraps and a skipping rope when I was weighing 137 kilos, uh, just divorced, and uh, life was spiraling down. So I did, I kept my promise. Um, five fights now, two wins, two losses, and one draw. And we'll have a couple more this year, and then hopefully my last one at the Southern Giant at the end of the year. Yeah, we, we're pushing forward. We're trying to get as many fights as we can. We're trying to get as many fights under our belt as possible. From my sparring session, remember, it's, it's a different taking a sparring into the fight. So I started working hard with him for, the, for his last fight. And, and uh, I think he, he, he had the, uh, the weapons, but he wasn't that confident. Now, this time, I, I see he's got the confidence. And he's changed his ways. I, I, I try to get him to sprint more instead of running long distances. He weight. He doesn't need to ride 18 kilometers. It, it kills your legs. He needs to sprint more for the, for his gas tank. So this fight, I'm sure, is, is going to be confident. I'm going to be there. I'll, I'll talk to uh, Anton and see if he can take me to the corner. If he can take me to the corner, then I'll just try and bring that that support he needs. Oh, Luke's grown tremendously. You know, we had a bit of a layoff uh, end of last year. Luke went in for a sinus op. Um, so he wasn't able to fight again last year, uh, had a bit of a lay there. But he's come back this year and he's grown so much as a fighter. So many things have improved. Uh, everything has improved. Um, and you're going to see it. You know, if it goes longer than one, um, and if we get some rounds in, then you're going to see a, a very special fighter. But if um, Warren comes out and plays silly games, we're not going to get to see much of Luke. So yeah. let's see what happens on the night. Luke is a freight train from hell, my friend. He comes straight forward with everything he's got. He's a tough guy and he's willing to trade leather. Um, we've been working on a couple of things. I know him and my last opponent are in the same stable. And I saw a lot in my last opponent that I saw in Luke. So this time we're going to change it up. We're going to give the people what they're paying to see. I think, uh, um, I think it's time for Warren to hang up his gloves. Uh, and I think our, our, our fight will show that. War, bud. I don't have much left in boxing. I feel I've got nothing less left to prove except just put on a good show for the crowd. And uh, I'm going to make sure it doesn't end up like the first fight where it just gets stopped in the first round. I think Luke needs the rounds. I think I need the rounds. And uh, I think we need to bring it. You know, we need uh, war. I basically, myself, I need him to go at least three rounds and then stop the guy. Throw going three or four rounds. It, 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 it shows people that he's, he's confident, he knows what he's doing, he's not in a hurry. But stopping him, 
it's, it sends a good message. And it's, it's, it shows the people the first fight was a fluke. It shows the, the people he's developed as well as a fighter. Knocked out. Um, hopefully the referee saves Warren. So it's a technical. But if not, he's going to go sleep. Luke, my bud, uh, we're privileged to do it again. I know you're training hard. I know you come from a strong stable. Got a lot of respect for you guys. So like I said in the interview, bring it. Let's go. Let's rumble. Let's give the crowd what they want. And uh, let's make a memory. Warren, it's time to hang up the gloves, my friend. <laughs>